Hello everyone. Well, it's been quite a while since my last video. I had major problems with my phone, so I kept getting videos chopped off and I'd had to start again. So now, new phone, better video, and um, major changes since the last one. On the last one, which was the 11th of November, I mentioned about all the um, darkling beetles that had hatched out of their little cocoons, one to go and major changes since then so it's now the 7th 8th 7th i think of january and i'll just show you where we're at at the moment so all the darkling beetles have hatched they're all out i've lost a couple but this is where they are at at the moment they're going really well um yeah just really just, they're eating, they're thriving, they're laying lots of eggs. Um, and, um, yeah, so I couldn't be more happy with the, the darkling beetles. I did have an issue with something that I believe was contamination in lettuce, maybe pesticide, I don't know if that was what it was about, but um, I don't use store-bought stuff anymore. I use my own, except for exception with the carrots. I don't actually grow my own carrots and apple, but any leaf vegetables, silver beet, um, I do grow my own lettuce and so forth. So I just give them mm. that now. So I'll have a look under here. Let me fall. <laughs> Clogged up the hole. So this is the majority of them, but many underneath the oats. My daughter really hates the noise that they make. I love it. I know this activity that's good. They're happy. So, yeah, they're going well in there. So I've probably got about, I don't know, 65 beetles in there. I started out with 70. So I'll move them over there. Now, as I said, population explosion. They've laid, they've hatched out eggs. All my trays are mucked around because all the labouring, labelling. But this is my mealworm population from the darkling beetles. They are still laying. I have other trays with eggs in it. These are the mealworms at this stage. I found they like tea bags, a lot of moisture in tea bags. But look at this. This is just here in one spot. So, I'm obviously doing something right. They're happy with thriving. As I said, that's just one spot. I'll lift up another spot. But yeah, that's the tea bag. They're getting the moisture from the tea bag. So I'll turn that over. Under here, I like the little bits of cut off the cartons. I'll just put that over there for the moment. So it is very shallow substrate, but they just they're growing that fast that um, they're eating it. They're um, growing in size, so that takes up more space. Um, so yeah, they're going really well. I'll lift up a couple of other things and have a look underneath. I've got them there. Love their staples, which is the apples and potato, carrot. But I put um, put the leaves in there too because it is moisture, um, and yeah, anything that's moisture is good for them because they need that. But yeah, being so hot at the moment, um, we've had up to forty three degrees outside house wasn't much better inside because of the air conditioner can only do so much but yeah i'm very happy with their progress at this stage i will change this tray out today and give them some more more um bran um i keep little labels in them now so i can keep track of what was done when i have a really poor memory so 
I have to um, have everything written down. So yeah, um, very happy with their progress. I've got more wheel worms that I can deal with, so half of these will probably go into another tray. Um, they're basically in the frass down there. But yep, they're happy, I'm happy. So that's all those trays, uh, sorry, that's all underneath all this stuff in this tray, so I will make another tray up and maybe separate some of the bigger ones from the smaller ones. But they're constantly growing, you can see the holes in the tea bag, so they are actually eating in through there. Look at this guy, he's, I think he's halfway in, he is. So, um, yeah, it was a good idea to put the tea bags in there, because look at that, I love it. So I'll just pop that back there for now. So that's those two trays. <coughs> I'll just pop them back in there. So, whoops. Now, as I said, the label's all over the place, so that, that's nothing. This is just a tray I have ready. Um, it's been used and cleaned out of any eggs or any worms that I can see. And it still can be used again, so I'll use that for when I want to change over to the, the darkwing beetles. So I've got something there <coughs> that they can use. Empty tray. Empty tray, that's just my utensils. These are good ideas. Just a plastic spoon and a little tiny soft brush. And you're trying to collect tiny little mealworms that might be trapped somewhere or the easiest way to get them is to flick them onto the spoon and soft brush so they get squished over here. Now this is the frass and microworms from the small worms that I just showed you in this tray here. So that's been sifted out and into here. Um, and also this egg carton is from the mealworms tray when I cleaned it out. I've popped it in here because they lay onto the cardboard. So I don't like putting things in there that have to be thrown out because they could potentially be throwing out thousands of eggs. So this tray has been cleaned and I have just put in some things to eat so that if there are any microworms in here that are not visible or not too visible, um, they will come to the food source or the moisture. I can't see any at this stage with the naked eye. I do actually have a micro camera now and I can actually inspect the trays with that. And it's amazing what you can pick up with those things without actually being able to see with your eyes. But I'm not expecting much from that. I also have another tray the same. Like I said, labelled so you can keep track of them. Down here, this one here was check. No, that's the date I want to check it again for any worms. In here, I've got the frass and possibly lots of eggs in there from underneath the darkling tray. Um, I've separated that into another container so that I just didn't want them all going into this whole tray and then have to check the whole tray for them. I just want to keep them in there and that way I can quite easily check to see if anything is hatching, growing. A bit of carrot there, it's usually the first thing they'll go to. So that's just for that reason only. Um, so I just check it now and again. And the same in the tray, just quite certain there are micro worms in here. Nothing to see here. But, um, whoops, look, I can see one just now. I'm not sure I can find him on the camera. Yep, probably lost him. But they are definitely um, little worms in here. Sometimes you just got to sit and watch for movement, but um, I don't like to throw anything out until I'm 100% sure that there's nothing left in it. Um, but I've sort of changed my method 
with the darkling beetles. I did have them over the top of a mesh floor so that the eggs could drop down into the tray below. But what I was finding was that I'm constantly checking a massive tray for tiny little eggs to separate out and it's time consuming. So where they are now <coughs> in this tray is just a plastic floor. No screen. Um, this is their screen. So I find it's easier that they lay in there. I <coughs> separate the mealworms out into another tray. Um, then I can just sift this substrate, which is way bigger than what eggs would be. And I'm left with that to keep a check on rather than a massive tray full of oats and you know, leftover food, waste, frass. So that method is a lot easier and that way <coughs> I know I don't have to go through this process of waiting to see if there's anything in here and wait to see if there's anything in here. All I need to do is just sift them out you're left with something like that and I can check in there rather than a whole tray full. Once these have gone, these two trays have gone, I won't have to worry about that. All I'll be checking is a little container full like that. And then as the mealworms grow a little bit, they can go into here with these guys. See if I can find different sizes. This guy here is white, he's just shed his little skin, just like snakes. Let's see if I can find some different size guys in here. They're all quite a good size, but they just grow so fast. Um, very hard to see little tiny ones, but they are in there. So I'm really happy with the progress of them. Um, in such a short time. There's a smaller guy there. Just under here. So yeah, I'm very happy. So whatever way you set up your worm farm, your worm farm, um, as long as they're getting fed, they're getting the moisture, protection, they can hide. Um, and you keep check on things, do label them because it does give you an idea, especially since these guys are going to be um, separated out and um, go into separate trays because it's just too much for one tray to um, keep them healthy and fed properly. You can see how that's hollowed out. That's the potato they've been munching away on there. Um, and yeah, tea bags, who knew? Well, now I've got a, another use for them, for tea bags it is. Um, what the difference between those two? So, we've come full circle. I started out with mealworms, not much bif bigger than these guys actually. Um, through my darkling beetles. Oh, ever so happy to be under there. Um, they're eating, they're thriving, they're mating, laying eggs. And this is the result. I'm actually thinking about going into production to sell mealworms in my area. Seriously considering it. Um, they don't take up a lot of space, but obviously bigger numbers means um, bigger area, big containers, so forth. But they do the work themselves. You don't have to do much really compared to growing other things. Mealworms 
unlike crickets and cockroaches, they can't climb out of tubs, jump out of tubs, whatever. They're quite happy to um, stay where they are and hide from everyone. No chance of escapees unless you um, accidentally drop one, which I think I did over the back here. Nope, it was a shell. So, um, we've come full circle. Um, I may make another video depending on how things go in here. Um, and this tray under here. So, I'm happy to ask any, uh, answer any questions or um, if you've got any comments you'd like to make, good or bad, I'd like to know. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know how you're going with your own mealworm farms. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.